I was the first in my family to even consider boarding school. Both my brother and sister went to the high school in my town. Uh, they were happy, but I knew that I wanted to push myself a little further. I just, I don't know, I felt I could do something more. I'm here to find my thing, my groove, and what I really am passionate about. Right when you get into high school, a lot of people automatically look towards college, but here they have it so you're working for short-term goals and long-term goals, so it's not about, I need to get this good grade or I won't get into college. It's more like you're working for yourself, and whatever level you get to, that's good enough, and you live for high school and for Blair, not only for college, so that takes a lot of stress off. When I first came to Blair, I was a little bit skeptical as to how I would fit in, if I would make friends right away. And for the first week, it was a little bit hard, but a lot of the kids were just really nice to me, and it was easy to make friends. Having a roommate your age from a different background, my roommate, she's used to the farm life, country life, and I'm a city girl, but we mesh pretty easily, and Blair does an awesome job with selecting students who would be compatible. A prefect is somebody who lives in the dorm with underclassmen, and they're there for them to help them go through any problems that they're going through. They've been through the same experiences. They're a person to lean on. So when I was a freshman, they were my role models. And to be in that position now, being a senior and being that prefect for the underclassmen, it's really great to see the whole circle of things at Blair. That's great. That's really important, that's a big difference. Because remember, we're still located. I think the great thing about Blair and about teaching at Blair is that we get to see the students in so many different fora. We see them in the classroom, obviously, so we see their academic side. We see them as athletes, we see them in the dormitory. We see them as people uh, in, in every sense of that word. They see us as teachers and they see us as coaches, and they see us as people who work in the dormitory. Uh, they see us as parents, as husbands, as friends, they see us as advisors, and so they see, they see the, the whole person. The, the great thing about that is that we get to see them in very much the same sort of way, and so that makes for terrific relationships, very productive relationships in the classroom. Uh, students feel comfortable talking to us, they feel t comfortable talking to each other, and that, that pays dividends. It pays dividends both in the way they think, the way they write, the way they respond to, for me, the way they respond to texts. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great gift in a way that, um, that we do live together and know each other so well. I have three or four teachers who I consider my friends. Like, who would ever thought that? But I go to them and I talk to them about my problems and where I want to go with my life and they just really look out for you. Everyone, everyone wants everyone else to do well. The formal dinner, yeah, it makes you feel more at home. So sit down dinners with your grade is almost like having sit down dinners with your family. There's a faculty person at each table and they just ask you how your day is going. Uh, you know, if they don't know you particularly well, they'll get to know more about you. So it just helps you integrate into the community even better, especially if you're a new student. It's a great experience. You can join a club or you can create your own. We have so many clubs, all of which are run by students and supported by faculty. I'm head of the cycling club. We go on rides a lot. We actually, uh, in the fall, we did a triathlon together as a team, which was a lot of fun. We left campus for the day. We went, um, it was for uh, Battered Women's Shelter, which was really cool. We had an awesome time. Something that struck me as unique to Blair is the absence of cliques. I think that they're confident and uh, socially outgoing, but also um, pretty comfortable reaching out to, to other students and to faculty when they do encounter um, you know, obstacles or insecurities. I have noticed a, a community where communications essential and is done very well from, from the students to the dorm faculty, the administration. I think that there's an unstated common goal of, of working hard, of valuing community, and taking pride in our work without being pretentious or self-important. I'm living in a totally different world from my home, and I don't get to see my parents nearly as much, but talking to them after experiencing Blair, I think that they've seen a level of maturity skyrocket in me, which is really good.